Uh, my name is Niao. I'm a sustainability consultant and uh, I work uh, as uh, an auditor and certification officer for uh, ECOSERT. So uh, I have experiences in uh, sustainability standards and also agricultural projects. I used to make audit for uh, mainly agricultural projects. So uh, today I will present you sustainability practices assessment and uh, for a company, uh, UPLG, UPLHG, it's uh, an example of company that uh, I have chosen. It's an agricultural, comp agricultural company. So um, from this assessment, we will, um, we will uh, define what is the sustainability practices of a company. And then, and then we will uh, uh, make a conclusion if uh, this company really follow the sustainability practices. So um, let us uh, start the presentation. You can uh, move. Uh, the main objective of this uh, presentation is to check the efficiency of the sustainability practices in agricultural company, UPL AG, that uh, I have chosen. And uh, the value of this uh, presentation is mainly to show you the assessment of the company and uh, then indicate if uh, it has weak or uh, uh, rare initiatives in regards of uh, sustainability management. And uh, the goal is to indicate the need or not for actions and uh, initiatives and the call to improve the manager knowledge. So uh, it's your case for training, qualification, awareness raising towards sustainable management. You can move. So uh, the presentation plan, or we will uh, have uh, four main parts. First, sustainability practices, then uh, introduction to EPLG, uh, and uh, his sustainability practices. I will show you the company and uh, his sustainability practices. And also, um, then we will make an assessment to show uh, how the company make uh, implement the sustainability practices. And uh, we will uh, uh, finalize by uh, a discussion. You can uh, follow. Yes, so uh, let's start. Um, uh, I hope everyone has already uh, heard about the sustainability practices, but uh, let me just uh, give you some uh, summaries of the uh, definitions and uh, what are the main sustainability practices uh, a company can implement. You can follow. So uh, sustainability, um, as per uh, the scientific definition from uh, Lange, Birch, and uh, Delgado Ceballos in 2012, sustainability can be defined as an approach that encompasses economic first, social, and environmental issues in a well balanced way and with a long term vision. And the main benefit is uh, for future generations and uh, stakeholders. It uh, can be also defined as an ability or capacity of uh, something to be maintained or to sustain itself. And uh, it's about taking what we need to live now without uh, compromising the potential of people in the future to meet their needs. You can follow. So uh, there is a three main, uh, three main, three triple uh, bottom line uh, framework for uh, sustainability practices. First, you can see the pictures uh, profits, uh, what the company running for the business for, people, area, where the company is located, and the planet foremost uh, objective of store uh, profits. So uh, to maintain the sustainability practices, this uh, free triple, uh, this uh, triple bottom line should be maintained. And uh, also uh, it uh, should be 
uh, developed and uh, economically uh, not uh, neglected by the company. You can follow. Um, then uh, what is uh, sustainability, uh, sustainable development? Because when you talk about sustainability practices, it's always related to sustainable development. That's the main goal to implement the sustainability practices. So sustainable development is uh, the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. So uh, these are the main uh, sustainability, uh, sustainable development goals, SDG, uh, defined by the uh, United States. So uh, you can see there, uh, mainly uh, 70 uh, uh, SDG, uh, starting by no poverty until um, protection of uh, human rights. Um, uh, let's uh, see uh, what is the what of the main benefits of uh, of maintaining these uh, sustainability practices, uh, mainly in agriculture. Uh, sustainability uh, practices not only prioritize the health of the soil organism of the environment, but it also ensures that farming remains viable and pro prosperous in the long term. The main benefits are. Uh, preserving the soil health because, uh, for example, we can choose uh, crop rotations and the uh, cover crops, and uh, these practices will ensure, ensure that the soil remains fertile and productive. Then it uh, promotes biodiversity. Uh, we can uh, get it by creating a harmonious uh, environment uh, where uh, the crops and the livestock uh, can thrive. The next is um, securing the future uh, food supply, uh, supporting the farmer uh, level, livelihoods, because uh, it, uh, re it reduces uh, input cost and better uh, farm get prices directly uh, where uh, farmers uh, can uh, benefit. And uh, finally, it, uh, and uh, the most important, it uh, help uh, combating the climate change because uh, sustainable uh, farms uh, pay, play a pivotal role in sequestering the carbon and uh, then reducing the uh, greenhouse gas emissions and the uh, different effects to climate change. Uh, these are, um, let's see some example of uh, sustainability practices uh, in agriculture. Uh, first, you can see, for, for example, uh, crop rot rotation and diversification. Uh, it, uh, for example, uh, break past uh, cycles and they increase soil mo moisture and the fertility. Then organic farming, because uh, it's uh, sustainable, because uh, it um, emphasizes soil life, biodiversity, and the ecological balance. Conservation tillage, uh, for example, here in, in these uh, pictures, you can see that uh, there is different uh, crop residues that uh, will let stay um, in the soil, and then uh, it allows soil nutrients and the organic matter matter to the soil. Uh, next, uh, agroforestry, for example, because. Um, because here we plant uh, uh, trees and then uh, we can make agricultural practices. And uh, these, um, these uh, two main, um, main uh, steps uh, contribute to avoid deforestation and uh, conserve the forest. Uh, next, uh, we can see sustainable uh, uh, livestock farming because it uh, it uh, reduces environmental impact and the yields healthier produce. A cover cropping, it helps uh, growing crops not intended for harvest, and uh, these crops will protect the soil 
and also improve soil health and fertility and finally manage uh, pests. Next. Uh, some other uh, example of uh, sustainable agricultural like, practices or uh, biological uh, pest control, which um, because uh, it uh, reduces the dependency on uh, chemical pesticides, then uh, dotyl farming, this uh, method uh, involves planting new crops without uh, disrupting the soil through tilling. Uh, preserving soil structure and also organic matter. Permaculture. I have a quick question. How common is no-till farming right now? Uh, no-till. Uh, it uh, it uh, depends on the on the farmer and uh, his ability to implement to implement it. Because it doesn't seem very common from from my experiences. Yes, yes. But it's, it's uh, a great can... idea. Yes. Uh, permaculture, it's an integrated design philosophy uh, that uh, stimulates patterns in nature, ensuring uh, resources uh, that can be used in closed system, and uh, it minimizes uh, waste. Uh, Carbonics, it's uh, really uh, famous, uh, especially in uh, develop, uh, developed countries, because of the cost is higher and uh, need um, higher uh, equipments, but uh, it helps also to uh, ensure integrated environment, water management, and the uh, waste recycling and the uh, composting. We can uh, move. Uh, let us see the case study. Uh, the case study to to see exactly how uh, these uh, sustainability practices are implemented to a company, and uh, to let us know how uh, it is uh, important. So uh, uh, to continue, just uh, let us see the, an example of company UPL AG and the uh, sustainability practices. Yes, so uh, UPL AG is a company. I have uh, just uh, I have checked uh, online, and uh, you can see is uh, a website here, and uh, is activity. It's a global leader in the provision of a sustainable agricultural product and the solution with an annual revenue uh, with this uh, amount. Uh, there is. Uh, it is implemented in uh, 130 countries and uh, represent a dedicated team over 30,000 uh, colleagues. So uh, his main vision is uh, to be an equal for grow technology and innovation. The main purpose is uh, an agricultural network that uh, feeds sustainable growth for all no limits, no border, and uh, his mission is to have a transformational and sustainable impact on every food product, especially for farmers and uh, growers, all his customers, consumers, and uh, societies uh, worldwide. We can uh, move. So uh, we can see here uh, his main revenue per region the most important is in Latin America, then uh, in um, in North America, Europe, and uh, India. And uh, the global market, um, it is uh, mainly, uh, it focused uh, mainly on herbicides, then insecticides, fungicides, uh, sustainable uh, solutions, and the crop establishment. And uh, for the country of uh, implementation, you can see in the picture, the most uh, important is in uh, North uh, uh, Latin America, where uh, it is um, the major uh, implementation. You can move. So, uh, 
So uh, as uh, we have seen, uh, UPLG has uh, five main technologies, mainly seeds, crop protection, bio solutions, or star first, soil and uh, water technologies. And uh, he have also for two main services, for Nutri Nut Nutiva, and uh, also a great uh, ground support uh, to increase yield and uh, reduce food wastage as an holistic uh, resultant. You can follow. So uh, let us uh, now see what is uh, the triple bottom line uh, framework, the triple bottom line uh, framework of the environment, uh, social and, uh, and uh, sustainable um, economic. And these are the main three bottom line. So uh, first, uh, how uh, open UPLG integrates sustainability practices into its uh, activity? Um, uh, UPL uh, uh, vision especially embrace uh, sustainability as a comprehensive approach that uh, permeates every aspect of uh, their business, aiming to achieve progress, prosperity, and the well-being of, uh, of people and the planet. With a firmly achieved by a prioritizing sustainability principle, and uh, their business will effectively foster intelligent innovations and drive profitable growth. In uh, this big picture, for example, um, they have uh, shown us the triple bottom approach. The environment, social, and uh, governance is a po policy man and uh, management system. Is uh, sustainability reporting. These are um, uh, registered in their uh, website. And uh, they are done annually to show how the sustainability the practices are implemented. The company has also a different sustainability certification, a different ISO standards, and uh, this uh, FTSE uh, uh, for good and also responsible uh, care. And uh, the sustainability ratings are done by uh, sustainability analytics and uh, also SP Global and FTSE result. Uh, these are um, in, uh, approved by UN Initiative, Initiative SPTI. You can follow? Oh, we have a question. So Simon okay. Yameke. Yameke, Simon, can you go? Can you activate your microphone? There you go. Go ahead and speak. Um, is it possible to have a question at the, at the end of the presentation? Absolutely. And then, yes, I think it's better. Okay. Everybody yes. wait for your questions to the end of the presentation. Okay. You can follow? Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes. yes. So, uh, uh, let's start by um, assessment of the company's um, uh, performance, economic performance of this company. Uh, this uh, result is uh, shown in their uh, sustainability report and uh, it's downloaded from their website. Usually companies um, uh, register their sustainability report in their uh, website. So uh, for UPLG, he has uh, demonstrated uh, consistent revenue growth for the past uh, five years, 20 and 18 to 20 and 23. You can see the result here. It has um, grown for uh, this uh, three year, five years and the profit after the tax also. Their uh, profitability margin has also uh, improved with a net margin increased from uh, 20 and 18 to 20 and 23. And also their return on capital employed, ROCE, uh, 
first as a remains strong, averaging for this uh, uh, 12.72% uh, annually, which uh, are performing industry uh, benchmarks. You can follow. So uh, there are specific uh, economic uh, sustainability initiatives. Uh, they uh, prioritize the practices that generate value for uh, stakeholders, foster long-term growth, and improve their uh, environmental impact. These are of the main um, key points that uh, show that uh, their direct economy value generated is uh, this uh, amount and the uh, economic value distributed. Total expenses here and the employee wages and benefits and also their community investment. You can follow. By uh, implementing the social performance, um, uh, social performance, uh, the company has um, has uh, about uh, 30, uh, uh, 13 uh, employees, a uh, thousand employees, and um, uh, 133 uh, acres of uh, barren community land, uh, 30 uh, facilities, and 3% uh, annual revenue reinvested in the research and development can follow. So when uh, I have uh, analyzed uh, the social performance of the company, uh, we can see that the UPLG has demonstrated a strong commitment to health and the well-being of uh, his uh, permanent and uh, contractual employee through the pre-employment health checks for all the new wares, uh, performing tests uh, such as a post include cholinesterase activity, PCA, and the vertical test, and the conducting annual medical checks. These are uh, the main uh, safety-linked uh, metrics for uh, uh, permanent employee and uh, contract employees. The company has also promoted uh, diversity and uh, inclusion on its uh, workforce with initiatives such as uh, diversity training programs, employee resource uh, groups, and also recruitment uh, practices that aim to ensure a diverse uh, talent pool. These are the age diversity percentage and also the gender diversity with uh, color, 10% uh, of uh, female and 88% uh, uh, of uh, male. You can see that uh, there is no uh, differentiation uh, in uh, men and uh, women um, consideration. Can follow. And uh, the community engagement and uh, philanthropy effort, UPLG actively engage with uh, local communities through various initiatives, such as educational infrastructures, health and sanitation, Self, um, self help uh, groups and agricultural practices. So, uh, these are the main key priorities um, for the local uh, communities um, um, driven by the company. And the UPLG solutions support also strategies and uh, initiatives which, uh, which are focused on corporate social responsibility initiatives, biodiversity conservation, and the responsible use of natural resources for uh, local communities. Can I move? And uh, it also uh, adheres to fair implement practices. It, uh, this, uh, fair implement practices means compliance with uh, labor laws, ensuring inclusion and diversity for employees, it establishing a robust uh, mechanism for uh, addressing grievances uh, related to policy protection and uh, human rights. Come move. 
Uh, let's now uh, move to the assessment of their uh, environmental impact. The uh, UPLG tracks and reports its uh, carbon footprint annually with a commitment to reducing uh, uh, carbon emissions by 25% by 2025 compared to the, the baseline year of 2022. Uh, these are of the carbon emission reduction done by the company and uh, their objectives um, for the next year and 10 to 20 and 40. Uh, 40 uh, they uh, want to achieve carbon neutrality. The company has also implemented waste management practices that uh, prioritize recycling and the waste reduction, achieving a waste diversion rate of uh, 80% across its uh, operation. This is the main um, waste uh, management practices by uh, UPLAG. Uh, uh, first, uh, they uh, intend to reprocess to reduce First, uh, to reduce their uh, waste and uh, reuse, uh, re recycle, and uh, reprocess all the waste uh, from their uh, operation. Uh, they also intend to uh, monitor uh, water and uh, it uh, results in the reduction of uh, water consumption. This is the main um, what total water consumption uh, uh, from uh, different uh, regions uh, used by the company. We can move. And uh, uh, UPLG also intends to ensure uh, uh, energy effic efficiency initiatives and also use uh, renewable energy. Their main energy management is uh, first internal. We provide uh, in, uh, information on energy consumption and efficiency by uh, demonstrating their efforts to minimize energy waste and also uh, optimize uh, resource use. Uh, their positive uh, impact regarding this uh, energy management is uh, cost uh, savings with which lead to improved financial performance, reducing carbon footprint and uh, derivative uh, overall environmental impact. And uh, finally, when, but, uh, there is a negative impact, uh, which is the increased uh, scrutiny, employee training, uh, uh, sometimes require uh, time and uh, resources, which uh, impact the, their uh, productivity. Across uh, different uh, regions, we can see the main um, uh, energy source, source of energy used by the company. Uh, from this uh, calculation, we can see that uh, they use um, uh, non-reliable, uh, mainly natural gas and uh, grid, grid electricity, but uh, they try to um, to complement this use of uh, renewable, uh, non renewable energy by uh, energy from uh, solar and wind. And uh, this is the energy, um, uh, the energy used from uh, the solar and uh, wind energy. So uh, this helps to reduce uh, carbon emissions. You can move. Uh, from all of this, uh, this uh, analysis of uh, three triple uh, uh, bottom line. Let us see how is the, how it can impact the company uh, practices. You can move. So uh, from this uh, triple bottom line, uh, UPLH is a business strategy. We can see that it is mainly founded on the principle of sustainability because it considers uh, at the same time economic, social, and environmental practices. Then the company also uh, recognizes long-term su success, uh, which is um, 
uh, have impact on uh, balance profitability with uh, social responsibility and the environmental uh, stewardship. We have seen that the profit of the company has from the five years uh, increased. In its uh, decision-making processes, uh, UPLG evaluates uh, potential economic, social, and environmental impl implication of these actions, and also striving to maximize positive outcomes for all free emotions. Uh, we can note that because um, all the free put online are uh, implemented. The key initiatives also, such as a product development, supply chain management, and the investment decision undergird rigorous assessment to ensure alignment with the triple put online framework. And uh, finally, by integrating this uh, economic, uh, social, and environmental consideration, UPL um, AG uh, solutions aim to create a value for all the stakeholders. Stoke the stakeholders means all the, um, all the parties uh, uh, involved in the project and uh, it minimizes the negative impact on society and on the environment. We can tell that from the social um, uh, practices, sustainability practices implemented by the company. So uh, we can see that uh, implementing the UPL edge strategy regarding uh, the pre bot online is uh, have a good impact to their uh, to their uh, profit and also to the local uh, communities and all the stakeholders. Uh, you can move uh, this is uh, you can move this is uh, the end of the presentation. Uh, thank you.